I'm uh, Captain Mike Santos. I'm the company commander of ABU Company 1187 Infantry. So we're out here training with our partners here in Estonia. Uh, we've been on ground here for a few months now, getting after some of our own training. And this is one of the opportunities we have to train with our partner nation forces. The Estonian Defense League, they're working on some of their offensive operations. With these scout teams. Uh, so what we're doing, my company has been out here during the day, uh, just kind of looking at battle positions and preparing to defend this area. And we're expecting the Estonians to come, come and attack us while we defend in this environment. They work on room clearing, they work on fighting through the buildings. And we're just going to defend, retain what we got, and fight back and uh, make it a good training event. It's really important, number one, for us to work with our partner nation forces and show what we can do at scale. So whether we're working against each other in a training environment, where they're fighting us, we're fighting them, or side by side in a training environment, we're building that relationship where we know how we fight, we know how they fight, we know how to communicate with each other. Roger, hang on, Mike. We see how we work. They learn a little bit from us, we learn a little bit from them, and then we all come together, we're all better for it. We show that we can fight with our allies. Hey, one four, we got enemies on our slow. So my soldiers, it's good for them to see exactly how they operate. Listen to how they communicate, talk about what they're doing. Obviously a little bit of a language barrier, but when it comes to infantry tactics, we all kind of speak the same language. So the ability to fight in something like this against someone that we're not 100% sure what they're going to do, um, just that extra level of complexity that gets our leaders thinking and planning and reacting and adapting just makes it that much more beneficial for us. Like I said, I don't see them coming in this way. But full force with these scout teams. You can get a good idea. Go for what we have. Check the EED. Um, or I'll see if Zer can get me a uh, GRD. You said 400? Yeah. So India five zero is the, the bigger guy. Did you get something? Roger, hang on Mike. Ah, the two is up. Yes. I'm uh, Captain Mike Santos. I'm the company commander of ABU Company 1187 Infantry. So we're out here training with our partners here in Estonia. Uh, we've been on ground here for a few months now, getting after some of our own training. And this is one of the opportunities we have to train with our partner nation forces. Uh, with the Estonian Army here, or with the Estonian Armed Forces, I should say, 
We have the Estonian Defense Force, which is their more traditional military, and the Estonian Defense League. Uh, it's sort of a militia force with volunteers that come out, they train on the weekends, and they're, they're sort of a supplement to the Estonian Defense Force as part of their defensive plan uh, for any, any operations they might have in the future. Uh, so we're here training with the Estonian Defense League, that militia force, and just working with them in a, in a nice urban environment, large-scale collective training event. The Estonian Defense League, they're working on some of their offensive operations. Uh, so what we're doing, my company has been out here during the day, uh, just kind of looking at battle positions and preparing to defend this area. And we're expecting the Estonians to come, come and attack us while we defend in this environment. They work on room clearing, they work on fighting through the buildings. And we're just going to defend, retain what we got, and fight back and uh, make, it a good, make it a good training event. It's really important, number one, for us to work with our partner nation forces. We're here to just establish our presence and show what we can do at scale across in another country, all the training we do back home in America, uh, we can replicate it here. So whether we're working against each other in a training environment, where they're fighting us, we're fighting them, or side by side in a training environment, we're building that relationship where we know how we fight, we know how they fight, we know how to communicate with each other, we see how we work, they learn a little bit from us, we learn a little bit from them, and then we all come together, we're all better for it, we show that we can fight with our allies, and then we all learn a lesson out of it. Um, for us, it's kind of an eye-opening experience. This is an environment that most of us aren't used to out here. Uh, back at Fort Campbell, Tennessee, we don't get this level of snow, this level of cold and all that. Uh, the Estonians here, that's what they train and that's what they're used to. So w we learn a lot about how to fight in the cold weather, how to survive and how to still be effective. And we see them doing that, whether it's how we outfit our equipment or how we just practice new techniques, new tactics and get into different battle rhythms here so that we can survive and that we can thrive in this sort of environment. Um, it's, it's, a lot of, it's very easy for us to train in a vacuum. We know what we want to do, we know how we do it, we drill it over and over and over. Uh, when it comes down to it, we're going to be side by side with some of these allied nations. Whether we're fighting with the Estonian Defense Force or we're on the battlefield at the same time in the same space as the Estonian Defense League. So my soldiers, it's good for them to see exactly how they operate. Listen to how they communicate, talk about what they're doing. Obviously a little bit of a language barrier, but when it comes to infantry tactics, we all kind of speak the same language. So figure out how we bridge that gap and talk to each other, watching them understand that they're doing a lot of the same things that we do, while still continuing to drill over and over and over again. The things that we do so that we can just get better and better. And doing it, whether it's in the desert, whether it's in the forest, or whether it's out here in the snow, in a pretty complex urban environment with some decaying buildings and some training buildings. Uh, just, just the continued repetitions, and especially with an outside perspective, it's, it's incredibly beneficial, and that's, that's what we've been getting after while we've been here. We have our training objectives, they have their training objectives, and it fits in together pretty well where we can all plan for a living, breathing, thinking enemy that wants to defeat us just as much as we want to defeat them. And the benefit with it being the Estonian Defense League, again, it's something we're a little bit more foreign to. So while we expect they generally fight the same way as us, we don't know 100% what they look like. We don't know exactly what they're bringing to the fight. So there's still a little bit of the unknown that we don't always get when we're just training us versus us. Uh, so it's, it's, it adds that complexity. And especially with a training environment like this, um, excellent training facility that we don't always have access to. So the ability to fight in something like this against someone that we're not 100% sure what they're gonna do, um, just that extra level of complexity that gets our leaders thinking and planning and reacting and adapting just makes it that much more beneficial for us.